Today, I'm going to attempt to speed code Snake in 5 minutes. So I'm going to start out with just an HTML that links to our JavaScript. I have a live server running. You can see there is nothing there because we have no code right now. And we'll take a look in our JS. So we've got nothing except for three colors that I'm going to use for the game. So five minutes on the timer. Let's go. So we will start by getting hold of the element by ID. And then we'll get the context. We'll say the canvas width is the same as the canvas height, which is 400 pixels. Say the frame rate is 10, the screen size is 20, the tile size is canvas.width divided by that screen size. We'll need a position, a velocity, a food, and a snake variable. And we'll create an initialization function. We'll initialize our snake to be at position 1010. 10. We'll give it an initial velocity of 0, 0. Then we'll create some body for our snake. And we'll put a chunk at 8, 10. And we'll duplicate that a couple times. So that we have more body. Then we'll place a random bit of food. We'll call that initialization function. And then define our random food function. And that will place some food at math.floor, math.random, times by t for x, and the same for y. And then we'll make sure that that food hasn't spawned in a position where our snake is by checking that it is not part of the snake. And if it is, we will recursively call random food then we will add an event listener on key down and we'll call a key down function key down and that takes an event we will switch on the event dot key code 37 case we will return velocity equals minus one zero and for 38, we will give it 0, minus 1, 39, be 1, 0. And for 40, it will be 0, 1. And then we will set an interval. And in that, we will request animation frame for our game loop. And we'll call that 1000 divided by frame rate. Game loop. Fill style will start off as that BG color we defined above. At 00, zero canvas.width, canvas.height. Then fill style will become the snake color. And we'll loop through all the cells of the snake and fill in at cell.x times s, cell.y times s, s, s. Then fill style will be the food color and we will fill in at food.x times s, food.y times s, 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 position.x plus equals velocity.x, duplicate that for y. If position.x is less than zero or position.x is greater than t or position.y is less than zero or position.y is greater than t. Then we've went off the edge, so we want to reinitialize. And then we'll check if we've eaten the food by saying if position.x equals position.y and food.y equals position.y. Then we will push onto the snake the current position and we will push the snake forward and then place a random food and then if velocity.x 
or velocity.y. Then we want to look through the cells of snake. And if cell.x equals position.x and cell.y equals position.y, then we want to initialize because we've bumped into ourselves. Snake.push the current position. Snake.shift to remove the end. And we're done. So let's check the browser. So we can play the game. And there we go. We have a snake game. If we bump into the wall, we should die. If we bump into another wall, we die. And if we build ourselves up, hopefully, if we bump into ourselves, we die. So there we go. A snake game from scratch in JavaScript in the browser in five minutes. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button to see more content like this, as well as other contents where I actually explain what I'm doing and you can learn from it as opposed to me rushing through it as a speed challenge. If you really like what I do, I do have a Patreon so you can check that out to support the content. But until next time, stay hungry and keep coding.